Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Doxy here with another video for you guys today. Today's going to be a very simple and easy educational video as far as starting up LSPDFR, making sure that your game version is um, backed up, showing you how to revert your game version, and also showing you how to make a backup of your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. So let's get straight into it with the directory first. If you guys had this on Steam, I want you guys to open up Steam. First thing you're going to do is you're going to right click Grand Theft Auto 5, go down to manage, and then go to browse local files. Now, if you're on Epic Games or Rockstar Launcher, there will be a, um, a file path in the description showing you how to get there. Um, so you can get to the same folder that I'm in now. So once you guys are in your main game directory, we're going to go back one. So up here where it says Grand Theft Auto 5, go back one to common. Okay. And basically what we have here is we have a clean version and we have a non-clean version. This version right here is our actual version though that we're using with LSPDFR in it. It also has mods in it and all that good stuff. So Grand Theft Auto 5 is the way that it needs to be named in order for Steam to recognize it. Um, this may be different for Rockstar Launcher and Epic Games. However it is originally is the way that you want this thing to be if you want it to be loaded within your launchers. Okay guys, remember that. You can't have it. This won't load. This will not load in the launcher. Even though it's the same. Now if I remove clean off of this it will load but then I'd have to make this dirty see what I'm saying here so we keep a clean version in case we want to go on Grand Theft, Auto, Grand Theft Auto online and have fun with friends you know legitimately we would we would take this clean away and we would name this dirty and then take this clean away and then load Grand Theft Auto normally by clicking on the actual program all right and what that would do is that'll actually put you into a normal clean version of Grand Theft Auto 5 with no mods all right so to do that all you have to do is basically take your clean version of Grand Theft Auto you're gonna right click it uh, yep, you're gonna right click it copy it and then just paste it inside of here. It's that simple All right, you can make as many different backups as you want Maybe you want LSPDFR running certain mods with this version. Maybe you want LSPDFR to do something different. Maybe you want one set up for sheriff. Maybe you want one set up for SWAT whatever you may be Maybe you want different call outs on this one and you want to try different call outs on this one You can make as many of these backups as your computer's uh, storage can handle Keep in mind, I usually only keep one to two to three different Grand Theft Auto 5 main directories. So, with that being said, that is how you would back up your entire Grand Theft Auto game, okay? So, that's one thing that we uh, we want to go over and to do. So, what we're going to do now is go into Grand Theft Auto 5. We're going to go ahead and close out of uh, Steam. We don't need it open anymore. What we're going to do is find Rage Plug and Hook. We're going to click on Rage Plug and Hook, and then we're going to minimize this and wait until it pops up. As soon as it pops up, we're going to hit the settings button over here. And um, once we're into the settings of Rage Plugin, hook it, give it a minute, it'll pop up, I promise. And then once we're inside of here, we're going to make sure that all this stuff is the way that it should be. So F4 is your console key, 6000 is your plugin, uh, timeout threshold. And we're going to go over here to game settings and we're going to go over a couple things here, okay, guys? We're going to go over one thing, which is going to be revert game version. And then we're going to go over another thing, which is going to be backup game version. So the first thing I want all of you guys to do that are watching is go ahead and back up your game version. Just click on that little arrow there and then go ahead and click back up current bank game version. When you guys do this, it's going to be very simple. It's going to say already backed up because it is. I've already backed it up. But for you, it should say backing up. And then it's going to say all done and disappear just like mine. If you go to revert a game version, you should see in here that you have a game version. You might not see two like me. You might only see one, which is right here. So... Um, if we click this right down here where it says backup current version, um, you know, or revert, if we revert the current version, all right, if we hit on this, click this right here where it says revert, that's going to take us back an update. By that taking us back an update, um, that's what we want it to do if there were to be a Rockstar update coming out for Grand Theft Auto 5. All right, so if they release an update and it's, you know, you go to click on Rage Plug and Hook and it's like, Whoa, unsupported game version. No big deal. Control Alt Delete, close out of everything that's Grand Theft Auto, and then reopen your uh, main game directory, and then click on Rage Plugin Hook, and then click the settings button, and then revert your game version back to what we just did today. And it should work. Not all the time it's going to work. Like it's about a, I'd say 90% of the time you can get this to work perfectly. The other 10% is uh, honestly, it has do with the developers of LSPDFR and Rage. So if they miss something on their end, this might not work for you as far as reverting back, but there are other methods. Not knocking them either. I appreciate every one of the developers that are in the community for LSPDFR. If it was not for them, we wouldn't even be able to play this mod. So make sure you guys give every single developer the credit that they need and deserve for making this possible. But anyway, um, what we're going to do here 
is uh, nothing because <laughs> obviously Grand Theft Auto 5 did not update. So we're not going to do anything here. This is just kind of showing you guys how to get it ready. So once again, you're going to want to make sure that you um, you click on this backup game version. Make sure your game version is backed up. Then if you were ever to need to revert, you'd go over here and revert. Don't verify the integrity of the game cache. You don't need to do that just yet. Um, that sometimes can actually cause problems on reverting. So the first thing that you would do is actually try to revert back first and then just see what happens. But, um, yeah, I hope this helped you guys, and I hope that you guys have took this knowledge to help you in your journey of modding on Grand Theft Auto V. Don't be like me when I first started and uh, not listen to what I'm saying because then you're going to have a lot of issues when the updates come, and you're going to be like, whoa, what the, you know, and it's just it's a big headache. It's not really worth it. It's better to make them backups. It takes a second to make a, a backup game version. Um, it may take you, you know, several minutes to 15, 20 minutes to back up your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. But like I said, it is 100% worth it having those copies. So I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. And until the next video, I'm going to see you guys later.